in the society we see lot of rapists abuse of children attackers violently sexual first of all you have to understand nobody is born as a rapist in the society they are not born as a rapist they are not born as a abuser it is the society makes them abuse and rapist let me uh, suggest you first one thing like the psychologist they always mention the child which is abused by a man or a woman when that child is grown no matter it's a girl or a boy they are attracted to the children psychologists are wrong in this aspect the child who is abused in his childhood or in her childhood cannot be a rapist maybe he or she will suffer a lot because you uh, remembering all this incident happened the way they were abused they were helpless that's what i first of all i want to put psychologist down that is not true then what is true true is a man when he feels powerless that this lady denied me for the sex one lady two lady on the third attempt he will be violent even his own partner towards his own partner he will be violent because then he feels powerless that he doesn't have the power and in the society that person can become rapist he start abusing other ladies same thing happened to the woman if the woman loves someone or a young girl loves someone and she is rejected by um, the person so chances are she might act violent sexually and when does it doesn't happen in his, in it is not in her hands so they become violently then the other person which is stronger she cannot trip it so she goes towards the children But don't think rapes happens only between men and women. It can happen between women and men, among the men and women. It goes all the way around. And remember, there are uh, violent predators in the college campuses. are in the schools high schools here 
Be careful. Because the violent predators, they can really attack you, hurt you even, physically. And it is hard when a lady is posed um, 100 pounds, 110 pounds and a six feet taller person or six and a half feet. And uh, if uh, these rapists who are raping that kind of uh, lady, she cannot protect herself that time. Because I have seen if these uh, players, they are denied by the lady or rejected by the lady, they become violent sex and they begin to attack other ladies. Why? They are not rapists, but they attack because they are rejected. And they are so muchly, they are so strong, they can rape Don't think that is just a karma, that the lady is raped by someone that was her karma to be raped. No, that is also wrong concept. These rapists, they are collecting lot of bad karma. Why they collect lot of bad karma? Because they are hurting someone emotionally, physically and mentally. The person who is raped or abused or molested sexually, that child when grown up in the society will be always fearful. His are channels not open for all of the life. Why? Because they always dream. Even in the dream, they dream like the person is coming and attack one. They get panicky attack. They get lot of anxiety. They are so afraid to believe in to live in the society. They become introvert. They become very shy and they don't want to uh, have any thing to do with other men or dating him. They're so afraid because they remember the incident, what happened to them. And they were helpless, especially in the childhood when these things happen, is very terrible because it is hard to forget childhood incidents. And the rapist who is raping or abusing or molesting this child is collecting so many guns, so many bad guns that they are going to go down. This life, maybe they have achieved somehow the human body. Next life, they might go down. They will not even be human anymore. They maybe they will be born as animals. Or maybe somewhere uh, they will burn what Catholic and the Hindus, they say hell. I don't say hell, maybe the hellish kind of planet. They will be born and they will suffer there. So any rape, any abuse, any molestation is not accepted. It is not just to be just to blame, oh it is just the karma. 
Bhaktivinoda Sankarma, they collect the new karma. And when they keep collecting the new karma, they become very, very much active, but sexually active, and also the best in the society. They attack one attack another because they nobody likes them later. When they don't like it, what is going to happen? They will try to find a lady somewhere alone. And they will try to play. Same thing happened with women. Women and women. Men and men. It depends who they are, what do they feel, they will attack all of us. And it is unfortunate it is happening in the society. Why it is happening? Because we don't give them proper education since beginning. If we could have given proper education to the children, and they get real education in the school, they never will be collecting those bad karma by uh, abusing or molesting or raping other people. Can they get a good foundation? Our schools lack this. They don't give our children a good foundation. Oh, to respect each other's emotions, respect each other's faith, respect each other's individuality. So, if they get that, that will be a blessing to the society. And we can uh, finish these uh, rapist people just by education, they will not be born that way. But remember, the rapists are there because many people are desperate. Desperation is one another cause that Because they are not satisfied, they are not satisfied uh, with the, the fight. Somehow they get rejected and they become dis desperate. And desperation leads them to be rapist. Because if the if the husband is rejected by the wife, what he will do? He either indulges himself into a masturbation or he will try to find other partners somehow when there be. Or they will attack when nobody is there. And they don't know why they are doing it. It happens so automatically, mechanically, they do it. And when they do it, it becomes their habit. It never stops. Those people need a lot of help. Where they can stop it. But instead of we putting them in the jails or prison behind the bar, we need to give them education there too. If we give them education, they can turn out to be good people. That's what I told them, that somebody is the whole agilist in the society, is their idea, or maybe the parents. Look at what, how they learn sexual thoughts. 
how they become happy still. The children are very wise. The parents, who are ignorant parents, at night, they are having sex. They don't know that the child is sleeping on the other room. Maybe he's awake. And the ch children are very curious about the, what is going on. When they see what is going on, they may be awake. They may be uh, hear you. And even their hormones are not active yet. They are maybe four or five years old. Maybe they are uh, not sexually active. They cannot be sexually active four or five years old. Because there are not hormones yet. But when they hear it, something, which is going on through their parents. The sounds they hear, they try to make that sound. And they may be looking them, keyholes, you never know. But we are not careful about anything. So the society, the makes a child worse. That's what these things, whenever a husband, wife, or a partner, they are in love, or they are making love, they have to show that their privacy is not invaded by even a child. If they are careful, I can guarantee you, your child will be a very good child. When he's grown up a man, grown up lady, she will be very good because they learn from the first thing from the home. And if we are always alert, careful, in those moments, your child is very good. You are raising the child very well. And that child, most probably 100%, will not attack sexually on other person. That is guarantee. I know that the many people, they come here to consult with me. That I remember my childhood. That uh, my mom told me that I was uh, lying down uh, at night and uh, we were having like we were making love when he must have heard, heard something he told me that 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 my mom told me rascal it means she knew that her child is listening to all these conversations or listening all these sounds. Otherwise she will not say rascal. But I think sometimes why my mom said to me that rascal. Now I remember why she used to tell me rascal. So it is not the child's fault. It is the fault of the parents. That's what I blame the society more. If our society structure can be changed, we can, we can not have the society rapist or abusers. Because society structure is not the way what we think. Our society structure has to be something different. Our education has to be something different. So since uh, childhood, since the babyhood, you don't think that the baby, baby doesn't know. Maybe uh, the parents, 
they are making love and baby is just uh, awake. They think, oh, two years baby doesn't know anything. They know. I can tell you that a child learns from two to five years. Between two years and five years. As much as much they can learn two to five years, they cannot learn up to ten and fifteen years. Because whatever they hear, whatever they see, they cannot forget. That's why I tell that the child children who are abused by grown-up people or ladies or men, doesn't matter whom, by whom, those children cannot forget those incidents all of their life. We can help them. We can help the rapist too. We can help those children who are abused or molested by other people. That's what we uh, do here, that how we can help him, how they can dissolve those thoughts, how they cannot dream again and again the man is coming and attacking on me, or this lady is coming and attacking on me, and they have always nightmares, they have always bad dreams about it. That somebody is coming with a knife, somebody is coming with a gun and will rape me and they, they scream, even they are grown up because they were abused. So there are many things that need to be taught in the society. And I strongly tell people that um, it is easy to blame anyone that maybe it is the karma that uh, a rapist did with me and uh, maybe it was my karma. It is easy to con convince yourself but it is not the case. Don't convince. Get the help and get a bad, better person in the society. Whatever is slipped from your hand, it cannot come back. But you can shape your life a better way. You can carve your life a better way. And you will be the, like the best person in the society. If you get help, maybe psychologist can help a little bit, but that's what I said. Psychologist has a lot of wrong ideas too. You need to seek a right person, a right guidance. If you do it, you will be surprised. You are all these thoughts, bad dreams, fear. It will begin to dissolve. And not only that, who is the rapist that needs our most help? Otherwise, it will go on and on and on. Let me give you last little bit clue about it. Many societies, like even in the Arab countries, maybe you don't know it. Even in Afghanistan, Afghanistan there is a law. If somebody rape you, The rapist is not behind the bar. The girl is behind the bar. Because they think she committed adultery. And that is the law of Afghanistan. They need to be changed that. And it happened there, there several incidents. Westerns are becoming aware, but in the in Afghanistan they are not. Because the problem is, if she is raped, 
the family thinks now it will be a very much insult we are insulted in the whole society that she is raped nobody is going to marry her so their parents force her to marry the rapist can you believe that rapist supposed to be behind the bar and she has to marry the rapist it is not a justice we need to change our laws especially afghanistan or arab countries if we begin to change we can change the whole structure of the society structure of the society has something to do with the rapist because we create lot of rapists lot of rapists why because the way our education is way our so- structure of the society is we will going to create lot of rapists it is better to start changing the real thing the real thing is since the child and the parents have to take first step full privacy there is no like they are committing sin to making love no i am not saying that but can they be careful or aware about their own babies or their own children so they don't have those thoughts in the early age yeah the time comes hormones changes it comes the parents play the big role and once once the thought center in the childhood it is very difficult to stop and it creates a lot of trouble in the family in the society and the child can be violent because whatever he has seen or she has seen they want to do they are lack of knowledge they don't know anything they are you said so it is in our hands parents will be the first to be blamed and second thing is the structure of society and third thing is education system we need to give them good education and all education has to be given proper not only psychology psychology that sexuality psychology no not everything psychology psychology say many things but it doesn't mean that it is true so if we give this good education to our children our children will be the best children in the society and they are the best they are the best so that's why we need those things to apply in the society and we can diminish the rapist from our society jai sita So rejection is one thing because if they are rejected once twice three times that's what i'm saying they get rejected again and again and they don't find the partner and they try to attack someone. and if they succeed in the first attack they become a rapist they didn't want to become a rapist is the situation is the is the circumstances they are very good people they were not thinking even to be rapists but they turn out to be sometimes 
I'm not talking all the people. Most of people, when they get rejected, rejection is the one factor to make the the person like a, like a rapist, attacker. If they don't succeed, then they try again. If they succeed, they try again and again. Unless someone they found very good person, partner, they can stop right away. But if they go too far, they will go on. And, this, and I can tell you, the, the one most factor to create rape is our diet. The children's diet is very bad. The diet of the children, like in the Western countries, we have a special milk. Milk, we give the hormones to the cows. And our all children drink that milk. And they are grown up very quickly, even they are five years old, because they are taking hormones through the milk. And we are giving all these hormones, strong hormones to the cow because the farmers, our large and not strict, farmers give it because they can give more milk. The more milk they will give it as, and when the cow stops giving milk, they just slaughter them. That, is, that has something to do with this milk. Our, our diet, whatever uh, we eat, even fruits, vegetables, we don't know how, how even they spray. Maybe they have a, some kind of spray which uh, steers your this kind of hormones are in early age. So there are many factors we need to uh, make it correct. We need to practice this type of thing. If parents are very well educated and uh, they know what to give to the child, I guarantee you, Maybe 14 or 15 years old girl or boy, they will not know even what hormones is. But otherwise, like 7 years old girl, 8 years old boy, they are full of hormones. And they are active, they are active sexually already. Why? It is the parents' fault. They don't know. They have to do the natural milk, which is like for them. The cow is treated very well. That kind of we have that kind of knowledge. It makes the child best. Abortion, according to the country, if it is legal or illegal. If it is legal, then the government doesn't punish you. And you don't feel guilty about it, even though it is wrong. But if it is illegal and you still do it, so you feel guilty later and guilt, feeling guilty is a sin. Yes, on the first hand, when someone has a abortion, it is like killing a living being even though that living being doesn't have yet uh, 
developed brain or developed organs or developed uh, all these parts of the body. Sure. Consciousness is there, soul is there, but it is in the process. So if it is process, is already for two months, or three months, or four months, it is still not developed, the main organs, or the brain not developed yet. It is in undeveloped organs and undeveloped mind. But soul is still there. So it depends on when people have abortion. So they collect that degree karmic effects. They have on certain degree karmic effects. Like suppose somebody knows after 15 days, but nobody will know actually after, before a month that if she is pregnant or not pregnant. So that is still there is no uh, any parts of the, it is just a cell. Is just a liquid and the cell begin to multiply. If somebody decides to have abortion and it also depends on the condition. Like what about if somebody raped someone? If somebody ra rapes someone, the if mother decides decides not to have that baby. I consider that lady is wise enough not to keep it. How do you know what kind of person he was? He was already a bad person. That's what he raped you and you got pregnant. So if you are, if you don't know a person and you still keep it, will be very bad consequences. And the father will not be known never. The child will suffer forever. So you can decide it is up to the person. In that case, that abortion will not have much karmic effect on the mother at all. Even it is killing. But she will decide right away. So it is just a beginning, the cells beginning to multiply. It is in the very early stage, very few karmic effects. But if somebody decides after four months pregnancy, it is like the baby can feel no pain because it's not developed main organs yet but it is bodies being built already cells are multiplied and it it is in the form of the body so the more you will wait the more karmic effect you will have so if they want to have abortion i am not in favor of abortion if they want to if it is legal in your country and if you you and your husband your family they don't want to have baby so decide in the early stage at least you still have less karmic effect if you don't want it. But I will suggest you be careful. If you want a baby, you decide it, you want to have it. Except the rape case or the other cases 
that you can conceive a baby, you decide. That is abortion, I think, in that case is the only, I will suggest to you otherwise, abortion is like killing a living being. And when it is killing a living being, when it is developed after two months or three months old, then will have consequences, the karmic effects like you are killing a person. So killing a person is a crime. And the government will not forgive you, they will punish you. So abortion is very early stage, is totally different karmic effects. The more you wait it, it has bigger karmic effects on you. So you decide, I think is the best way, you don't decide to have a baby. That is the best way. So you don't have to collect that karma, the bad karma, which can take your soul on the lower level. According to me, if you kill any five senses living being, including human, animals, they have all five senses. So your soul can go downward instead of going upward. So the abortion depends on what stage you are aborting a person, aborting a baby. So you decide it. If it is illegal in your country, but if still somebody raped you, I will suggest you don't keep that baby at all. Otherwise, it is very troubling. It will be very difficult for the mother and the society doesn't accept usually. So why to go to the hard way? It is better to just as soon as it is possible, as soon as you find out that you are pregnant, that's what you decide or your family decide. I will not say yes or no, but in that case I am not in favor because you, the baby never will have a good father at all because the person who is going here and there is a already criminal and the criminal persons to have a baby from the criminal is not good for you, is not healthy for you. That is the only case I favored to have abortion otherwise you decide if you want to have baby or you don't want to have baby but if you don't want to have baby on another case, decide as early as possible so you have less karmic effect. The more you wait, the more you get bigger karmic effect. It is like killing a person. So try to avoid the situation not to have that situation that you have to kill a living being. So killing a person and deliberately, voluntarily, knowingly, your soul can be dragged towards downward means downward means from human to animal animal to maybe to the trees or to the bacteria so try to avoid that violence that killing 
and if you are wise enough if you are listening to me make good decision in your life the best decision you can make as early as possible and the good decision will make you healthy will make you not feeling guilt and remember always if you are feeling guilt you are collecting lot of sin collecting lot of karma and once you collect lot of karma you suffer and you are in the cycle of birth and death and in the lower life even so listen and be wise try to understand this concept and be wise enough to be wise prevents abortion
ještě, že budou vidět, že už jsou nový. A se až to vyjdou. Já ty mi neupřijdu, to mě sváří, že jsme pomalý. A já byl třeba, že když jsem nějaký apps, si mi někdo si taky si tam jenom se prostě vyjadřilo. Ty jsi mě šáhl, že si. Ejš. Já bych to nevím, že to nevím. Ještě, že jsem vám, 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 že js